I'm Shanae Grimes Beach and welcome back to my channel. Today I am joined by my lovely husband who you may recognize from many, many videos on my channel. If you're not subscribed already, by the way, then you can pause and do that when? I don't know. Now. Oh. You can pause and do that now. All right, now that you are subscribed to our channel, I'm going to get into today's it's video. Our we can get into what today's video is all about, which is how well Josh and I actually know each other. Shall I talk about that little mole? Oh my god. Stop it. <laughs> you haven't even got a mole like that. People no, I know. Imagine. Now they're like People thinking know. I have a mole molly, on my molly, butt molly, molly. So today we are playing... Is it sponsored? No. Why not? <laughs> Where are the sponsors free. at? Sponsored me. Hello. It's sponsored by IKEA Plants. <laughs> <laughs> plastic fantastic selection. <laughs> Five dollar plastic plants from IKEA. <laughs> so today we are playing Who Knows Each Other Better. That's not a proper sentence. I don't know how to explain this in English that makes sense to anybody, but basically I'm going to say what the question is. Then we are each going to say what we think the other person's answer would be. And then we're gonna find out if we got it right or not. All right, I don't understand that. I think you made it way more complicated. I don't know how to make just it start the game, I'm baby. just gonna start, just okay. Start. I'm kiss, just gonna... kiss, good luck. <laughs> I'm just gonna start. What is your favorite band? I think your favorite band is the Deftones. Well, it is, yeah. <laughs> I have it tattooed on me. I'd be pretty limited just listening to the Deftones. Although, you maybe probably not. Could. Yeah. If I allowed it. I yeah. don't like the Deftones at If all. you allowed it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. It's true. <laughs> okay, what's my favorite band? The Doors. I knew you were going to say that. What's my favorite band? Like... Wait one second, Aerosmith. Not what I was going to say. God. You're making this up. No, I'm not. It's okay. literally like the only band. There's two actually. Two bands that I could just listen to their music the song after song. No, but that would that would have been a good answer. Okay. <laughs> you did say not that long ago. I think the Kooks are my favorite band. <laughs> I did say that. Kings of Leon was like my ultimate. Like that was my answer. <sighs> favorite concert For me, that we've been to together. Favorite Foo concert Fires. that we've been. Did you just burp? A <laughs> so, yes, that's my favorite. Yeah. <laughs> And that was your favorite too. But who's this question for? This is the point of the game. You have to tell me what you think my answer would be, and I have to tell you what I think your answer would be. Well, it's both the same answer. Yes, Foo uh, Fighters. Right. Although technically, my favorite concert ever. <laughs> no, but with me. Oh, it has to be with you. Yes. Because okay, cool. life before me <laughs> Doesn't exist. didn't exist. Favorite color. I think that in reality, yours is black. Yeah. But I since you were a little boy, you always said blue. <laughs> That's true. And you still say blue, but you don't have anything blue. What colors my arm? And you regret that. <laughs> Every you? day. What's my favorite color? Black and gold. Favorite trip that we've been on together? Because again, okay. That wasn't your favorite trip. Yeah, I think it was, but actually, no. Morocco? No. And it wasn't Thailand? It wasn't. I mean, Venice. I loved Thailand. Is it Venice? No, Venice was very cool, but no. Okay. I think way back. Way back. Oh, New Orleans. Yes. We didn't go on that trip together. We were on the trip together. Not really. You were already there and I showed up. But we were on the trip together. I don't know if that counts. It totally counts. Okay, but otherwise Thailand. Yes. New Orleans was sick. It was so good. But I didn't really know you and you didn't really know me, so... I know, but that's, that's why I was Oh, better. that's why I was better? What, the, what do you mean? <laughs> no, that's why we were getting to know each other. You were right. Falling in love. <sighs> so what was your favorite trip that we've been on? New Don't Orleans. answer. <laughs> I have to say what you think. Oh, okay. Don't you get the game yet? Not really. I think that your favorite trip that we've been on was Thailand. Well, that's because I already said it. Favorite drink? 
alcoholic or non-alcoholic. You're gonna say probably something else, but it's coffee, obviously. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> it is. And I was gonna say something else. Yeah, there you go. It's, it's what were you coffee. gonna say? I was gonna yeah, say Arnold like Palmer. Arnold Palmer. Yeah, there you go. Your favorite drink is J2O. You think that's my favorite drink? I have that like once a year. Oh, I know what your favorite drink is, but is it really a drink? It's a peanut butter banana milkshake. I that's mean, my favorite. That's drink, your yeah. favorite. But I, I wasn't thinking that that was a drink. If you're thinking of like actual drink. drink I could drink all the time, you didn't mention it. It's Ribena, isn't it? That's such a stupid like I, I'm English in it answer. <laughs> you don't like Ribena. You never have it when I we go like back there tea. anymore. You do not like tea. I love tea. What are you talking about? You just I, don't want English people out there to get mad at you for not saying something super English. Yeah. Favorite food. Your favorite food is Italian. The Duncan's roast dinner. That's really good. That's your answer though. Your answer is a roast dinner. My answer is a roast dinner or it's free other than roast dinner. Go. Okay. Roast dinner. Other than <laughs> roast dinner. Go. Battered sausage and chips. Kebab. <laughs> oh, <laughs> start that again. <laughs> Battered sausage and chips. Yeah. Kebab. Yeah. A curry. Yeah. If you could have dinner with one person, dead or alive, who would it be? You'd have yours with Steven Tyler. That's true. Okay, cool. You'd have yours with your granddad. That's really true. <laughs> That's so sad and emotional. Yeah, I know, I thought it was going to be a fun game. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay. okay. Dream car. Well, it always you said it was a G-Wagon. Yes. But it's not really. Wouldn't you rather have that thing we rented the other day, I was saying? <laughs> the Ford Explorer? That's not I my dream that. car. I loved that car. Yeah, I loved it too, but it's not like, when I think of like, one day, I would love to it's have... still a G-Wagon? Yeah. Alright, cool. What would mine be then? Yours would be some kind of really cool old car, but like nice fresh paint job looking really cool actually running so you could drive it. Mm -hmm. But I have no idea what any car names are because I don't know anything about cars so I can't name it specifically, but you know what I mean. So I mean black that's old with flames on the side. Something like that, but like, I think you would like actually... Like a micro machine. I think you would go world. for like a bolder color than black actually. Do you? Yeah. So if like, you had another car. Like an old Mustang or something. Yeah. This is different wording for each of us. So if you could shoot anybody, who would it be? And if I could act with anybody, who would it be? What would my answer be if I could act with anyone? Tom Hardy. Right on the money. What would your answer be? Tom Hardy. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want more kids? And if so, how many? That's yes. Is that your answer for me? Yeah, you do. You want two. Not two more, two in total. Mm hmm We want more than that now. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God. Two for sure, but maybe three. Change your mind. Oh, I always said three. Three if we could, like, manage it. But two Three, I think, sure. would be, like, if we went back to London. Paris. Yeah, if we had, like, home, you know, family around us. Yeah. If we only had two, do you think I would want a boy or a girl? They're going to grow up to be whatever they want to be anyway, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's not about that. It's not because I want a son who could be a footballer or a boxer. No. I think it's more likely that Bowie's probably going to be a boxer or a footballer or something <laughs> yeah. anyway. So, um, yeah, She's it's all tough. kind of the same to me. It's not That's the nice. 1920s. I love that answer. It won't make a difference to me as long as she's happy. Yeah. Same as if I have another son. Another son? <laughs> she's not Oh my son. god. I actually got knocked off there. Oh my god. <gasps> if I have a son, a daughter, don't matter. Yeah, it doesn't matter. If you weren't doing what you do, like no model, no musician, no photography. So oh, that's what you want to Yes. Do. You would want to be. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. Do you even know the answer to this? I know it, like, sort of. Well, you'd like to do, like, work, you'd like to work on a till, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you'd like to work Literally, in my only answer was, like, I'd just love to either work behind a cash register or... A beautician or something. No, in an office. Oh, I was going to say office. Anything that was kind of just structured. Yes. Nine to five. 
Totally, that's the just answer. The, because it's so opposite to your life, yeah. I think it's so it's it's that's uh, so attractive. To me. Yeah, yeah. Which is funny because other people watching this who have that life are going to be like, oh well. You don't know how lucky you are. You do know how lucky yes, you are. Yes, absolutely. I'll go for me. You would be the opposite of that. <laughs> you would never want to work behind a desk. I did it for half a day. You would either be a teacher of some sort because you love helping people. And I think that would help fulfill like some of your creativity at the same time. But if we were going like polar opposite of creative field, then I think you would be really amazing as like a first responder. You have always just like jumped in to help people, no hesitation, no real thought. Like you just, you go and you keep your cool in a scenario and you just like take the lead and you always, always, always want to help people. So I think like a first responder of some sort, I don't know if it would be a paramedic. I honestly think, yeah, I would have liked to have been a fire, fire probably. Or a Firefighter. See, I think paramedic. Biggest pet peeve. For you, yeah? Yes. You hate people's feet and you hate um, people like blowing their nose and going like that. And yes, stuff. Yeah. I totally do. Yeah. You yeah. hate people with allergies. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Some people oh. like and yeah, then yeah, spit yeah. Oh, okay. but, on the ground. Oh, what do they call that? Horky. 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 Oh, I don't know what it's 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 Disgusting. I don't need to know what it's it. called. Just get a tissue, man. It's so gross. Your biggest pet peeve is when people have no manners. Like when you see... Absolutely hate it. When you Even see... I just cut you off, sorry. <laughs> I apologize. When people like let the door shut in somebody's face or they like see an older person struggling with something and they don't help. Like it drives you nuts. Yeah. And I just think not making eye contact and not giving yeah. somebody the time of day. You know, if you go into your local grocery store, supermarket, whatever, acknowledge them. Bowie's gonna be waking up any second, so I'm gonna just whip through these last few. The holidays are coming up, so they're Christmas themed. What is your favorite Christmas movie? You don't really have one that you watch every single year, Jen. Not gonna lie, you don't at all. No, I don't. <laughs> it's a terrible question for you. It makes you look a bit scroogey. We were going to say National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, probably. Yeah, but that's yeah. thanks to you, because that's your favorite one. Yeah, that one. And now, the Kurt Russell one on Netflix that yeah, I can't Christmas remember the name. Christmas Chronicles. Yes. I loved that. We loved that. National Lampoon's. Oh, I do have a favorite Christmas movie. Duh! What? You didn't know what it is, so... But now I do. I'm doing the head like the face of a swan. <laughs> the Santa Claus! Oh yeah, you loved that! I know! That's a great one. How did neither of the us Santa clock Claus, that? National Lampoons, I and also... Love, no, mine is Elf. <laughs> oh, right. <break. laughs> of course. What is your favorite food at Christmas time? Christmas dip food. What do you mean? Oh, Christmas dip? What, but what English. item on the Christmas spread is my favorite? The roast potatoes. No, that's your answer. No, that's yours as well. I never had roast potatoes. Okay, but now what's the first thing you eat? <laughs> Roast potatoes. There you go. You can't just go on what you like. But that's not my favorite still. The pudding. Yorkshire pudding. Yeah, Yorkshire pudding. Okay, nice. <laughs> but ultimately, color. both of our favorite Christmas food is gravy because we wouldn't like any of those things without that's all true. the gravy actually on it. Even my dad's or Duncan. Yeah. Okay, last question. What is your favorite part about Christmas? Your favorite part about Christmas is giving people presents. I do love that part. Yeah. <laughs> Your favorite bit. I like opening presents, don't I? I was going to say that, but I, I thought I would I put like something it. else. I don't care what it is, I just like opening it. <laughs> he does. Yeah, give me anything. He does it very slowly. He draws out just the whole it. process. I love it. Nostalgic. He, as he's opening it, he goes, I wonder what it could be. I was going to say something like, oh, just, you know, laughing with your family. Giving but. back. Opening presents is everybody's favorite part of Christmas. <laughs> Good game. Good game. Thank you for you. having me on your channel. I love you. <laughs> Thanks, for, Thanks for having me back. Thanks for being YouTubies. on my channel. All YouTubies the time. or YouTubers. YouTubers. The burrs. If you're not subscribed already, then they should subscribe right below. That is accurate as well. I was going to say now, but there is a button below that you click. Do you just say it because everybody else is it? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a YouTube channel. I feel like I, I need know. to like forcefully tell you to subscribe. Yeah. That's what people do. I mean, James Corden says it, doesn't he? He does. So if he says it, it's probably good. There you go. We've high fived like a lot. I know, way too so much. So. Barry's waking up. Shit. See you later. Okay, bye guys. Mwah. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment below letting us know what video we Subscribe. should do next. Subscribe.